Greg, the Uber driver. Today is Tuesday, August 29th. It's about 8.44 p.m. And uh, a few comments about Governor DeSantis, about Hurricane Adalia, and um, concerns that people should have and be aware of. Um, the good news, I will say this, is at least the direct hit is not gonna be on Tampa Bay and the Tampa area, which is a much more populated area. It looks it's gonna go more into the Big Bend area, which is a less populated area, which is a good thing um, if it, these um, current trends um, continue. Um, the wind um, field is, um, or the strength of the wind is, they're saying now around 115, it may be 120, 125, it may jump up and down. Um, the wind is scary and you know, people focus on the wind. The wind is not the killer. The killer event of these storms is a storm surge. And they're projecting at this point that the storm surge where it's gonna come ashore and basically everything to the right of the storm is where the water gets pushed in is going to be 15 feet. So visualize 15 feet of water that the Gulf of Mexico is going to rise. It's not just one wave, it rises. Also, the Tampa Bay area is going to get, they're estimating four to seven foot storm surges. That's still a lot of water. Sit in your car. Seven feet of water is how far above your car? Above your car, unless you've got a really high SUV. Um, four to seven feet is a lot of water. Most of Tampa Bay is only two, three, four feet above. Uh, Tampa Bay will have flooding. Um, it will not be catastrophic, but there'll be massive flooding. Uh, much like we had in Fort Lauderdale back April the 12th, that Governor DeSantis never came once when we had 26 inches of water and rain, excuse me, in six hours. And there were three to five feet of water in many places and the airport had chest deep water. Thank you, Governor DeSantis, for never coming to help flood victims here. But I bet you'll be all over the cameras with this one because you need that attention to show that you're being a governor. Speaking of Governor DeSantis, um, remember what Governor DeSantis had to say about hurricanes and insurance when he was asked about, well, why are insurance companies leaving and how are we, you know, what's going to happen with the hurricane season? And he basically said, well, let's knock on wood and let's hope we don't have a hurricane. Well, guess what? We do have a hurricane. The good news is it's not a 150 mile an hour wind storm or higher um, that would have a greater storm surge, but it's gonna be bad um, for people that are hit by it. And hopefully everybody that's in these areas do leave. But Governor Santos, you've done a poor job. Um, you've done a poor job with the insurance companies. You've done a poor job with assisting um, people in um, Ian's path from the Fort Myers, Fort Myers Beach area, where there are 100,000 plus insurance claims still to be solved and where insurance prices in Florida are four to five times the national average and where we have insurance companies fleeing Florida. You've not done your job because you're too busy attempting to run for president and you're doing a poor job of that at the taxpayer's expense. So there you have the latest. Um, hopefully it will go down and because um, I don't wish anything bad upon people um, but there you have it.